When it comes time to sit down and read a story to my dog, Asti, there are simply two few stories that we both enjoy. Because I'm the reader, I'm the one to choose the story. Although I turn again and again to those tales I like to hear, I have come to realize that Asti does not always share my enthusiasm for a particular story. She often falls asleep, midway, or wanders off for a drink of water, or sits by the window and stares out at the birds on the patio. I realized that we needed one book where all of Asti's favorite stories were gathered together. This book would be familiar in sight and sent to Asti, and she would know when I opened this book that each of the stories were for and about dogs. And I could read aloud to Asti, knowing I was giving her worldview equal time with mine. My master was rattling off questions and talking about something I know very little about, eternity. For a dog, eternity is a fairly simple concept, best explained by examples. Waiting for supper, waiting for master to wake up or come home, this is eternity. I am puzzled and amazed by eternity, but don't know what it is, said an honest friend. My master nodded thoughtfully to this friend's response, but I do not believe it satisfied my master's quest for an answer. I would like to bring God into this conversation, said a non-committal friend, and I don't want to. I'm pretty sure my master would have liked her non-committal friend to bring God into the conversation, but my master didn't press for it. If you love for only a hundredth of a second, you have stolen from eternity. My master called the friend a romantic, the friend said she was still waiting for it to happen. I tried to fall asleep at my master's feet, but I could not. What was it, and how could the best thing in the world, love, steal from something no human yet understands? Plato said, time is the moving image of eternity. I have never before heard my master mention the name Plato, so he cannot be a close friend. Good thing, because if this person were to come over and have tea with my master, I'm pretty sure his opinions and statements, although lovely to the ear, would be the cause of even more restless ruminating and late-night mumbling by my master. I do not like to see my master suffer. What she needed is a down-to-earth answer that only a dog can provide. I waited for my master to ask me for the answer to her question. Finally, one bright morning in early spring, before she had had her coffee or read the newspaper, my master looked down at me and asked, How long is eternity? I sat up and wagged my tail. I had waited so long for this moment. 